Kids Educational Games, kidseduc.com. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the root of all things living as it enables plants to grow and thrive. In turn all of Earth's creatures need plants to survive. Isn't that interesting? Plants are pretty much the most important things around. Without plants, life as we know it could not exist. Earth supports over 300,000 kinds of plants, and plants in turn support life. From a source of food, to providing materials for shelter, to providing the very air that we breathe, plants are an essential foundation of life. Most plants make their own food out of four simple ingredients. Sunshine, carbon dioxide, water, and soil nutrients. Plants make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. From the Greek words photo, for light, and synthesis, for assembly. During photosynthesis, Plants convert carbon dioxide and water into sugar and oxygen. Let's take a look at what it takes to perform photosynthesis. Remember, a plant needs four elements to assemble sugars. Sunlight, carbon dioxide, water, and nutrients. Sun Carbon dioxide. Soil. Water. Sugar. Oxygen. There you go. Now let's take a closer look at photosynthesis. What actually goes on when photosynthesis occurs is a chemical reaction. The plant takes six molecules of water and six molecules of carbon dioxide and using light energy combines them into one molecule of sugar and six molecules of oxygen. The equation looks like this. 6H2O plus 6CO2 equals C6H12O6 plus 6O2. That is known as the photosynthetic equation, and it is at the root of life as we know it. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now that you know more about the photosynthesis equation, it's your turn to build some sugars. It'll be sweet. 6 molecules of carbon dioxide plus 6 molecules of water equals one molecule of sugar plus six molecules of oxygen considering the job that leaves do their anatomy is pretty simple that transparent waxy surface you feel when you touch a leaf is called the cuticle and it's there to prevent water loss the cuticle gets thicker in drier climates where it has to work harder. The visible surface of the leaf is called the epidermis, which is also the proper name for our skin, but we're not green. Leaves are green because of molecules called chlorophyll, which do the actual work of converting water, air, and sunshine to sugar. Chlorophyll is stored in chloroplasts. Then, at the bottom of the leaf, we have the lower epidermis which has holes in it called stomata. This is where carbon dioxide and oxygen enter and leave the plant. The stomata are protected by guard cells. They swell and contract to open and close the epidermis openings and protect the stomata. But what about the veins in a leaf which can be seen on the surface? They are made up of three major parts. The xylem are tubes that bring water up from the roots. These lie over the phloem which are tubes that take sugar back down to fuel growth. And pith wraps around the xylem and phloem to provide strength and protection. Cuticle Upper epidermis
chloroplasts. Lower epidermis. Stoma. Guard cell. Xylem. Phloem. Pith. There you go. We've learned how important plants are, and how they feed the world and everything on it. We've learned how plants turn sunshine and water into the air we breathe and the food we eat. We've seen what the inside of a leaf looks like, and we found out how air and water molecules are combined to form sugars. Congratulations!